Hello friends, in this video I will teach you how to bone and animate the character. First, make sure to put the slider in 0 frames. In the layers section, I create a bone layer. I will name the layer bone. All layers are selected by selecting the first layer and holding the shift button and selecting the last layer. By dragging all the layers, I put the head and body in the bone layer. We use the add bone tool to create bones. Left click and drag. I create bones for all body parts that have separate layers. I also create a bone for the general movement of the body. To ossify the hand that is placed behind the body, I temporarily turn off the torso, patch, and pelvis layers. I also create the bones for the legs in this way. I turn on the layers that I turned off again. Now I reduce the bone strength using the bone strength tool. I press Ctrl plus A to select all the bones. I decrease the strength of all bones by left clicking and dragging. You should definitely reduce the power of this bone to zero. Now we have to use the Reparent Bone tool to connect the movement of the bones so that the bones move correctly. The order of attachment of the bones is always the same. For this, I first select the bone with the bone tool. Then I click on the original bone using the Reparent tool. Now it shows with a red mark that the red bone is connected to another bone. In this case, with the movement of the main bone, the red bone also moves. In the same way, do this for the other bones in the order that I am teaching now. Pay attention to the order of connecting the bones. You can see that the bones of the legs are correctly connected to the other bones and there is no need to change them. After finishing this work, you will see that there are still some errors that we need to correct. Now I select all the head layers and put them in a folder. Now attach the head folder to the head bone. To do this, I select the head folder and click on the head bone with the bind layer tool. The color of the bone is red. This shows that the head bone is bound to the head layer. I select the neck bone with bone select, then click on the neck with the layer selection tool to select the neck layer. Then I click on the neck bone with the bind tool.
we repeat this for all layers and bones. With the bone manipulation tool, I test the correct movement of the bone and layer. You can see that we did the boning and animation of the character correctly. In the next lesson, we will create a range of motion for the bones. Bye until next lesson.